Hi, everyone. It's Trisha Carr. Welcome to the Charmed Life podcast feed. And I am actually just popping up to say hello to you guys. Yes, it has been almost two weeks since I put up a podcast, and that is the very first time I've gone that long without putting up a podcast. So I wanted to hop up here and say hello. I've been thinking about you guys. And I also wanted to let you know that I do have a, a great episode coming out for you tomorrow. Well, perhaps it's today, depending on when you listen to this. So just keep your eye out. And I wanted to let you know that also upcoming on the podcast, I have some great interviews, amazing interviews. And I have some other cool projects for you, like some audio recordings of affirmations. Actually, it's a different kind of affirmation called Decree. I'm going to be doing a series on that. I have all kinds of things coming up for you. But I definitely wanted to pop on today and just tell you that I am thinking about you all. I just needed a little R&R, and, R, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. For me specifically, I was doing the uh, channeling intensive with my best friend, Crystal Ann Compton. And it's, it's just quite an undertaking, undertaking, um, and not just producing the program, but bringing through the energy <laughs> that is required to pull through whatever the spiritual technologies are that we are bringing through on our programs. And so I actually have to kind of move some things around in my own shadow. And that just results sometimes in fatigue and some extra self-care. And I hope that you are doing that as well, because boy, oh boy, Ain't we having some times right now? And I wanted to say that truly I do appreciate you and I am praying for you, even if we don't know each other, literally, I do know you energetically. And I want to give us all, myself and you, permission to take care of ourselves extra specially because wherever you land in the social political climate, or let's just say the political climate, I think it's quite obvious that we've been living under some emotional abuse, what we have been witnessing in our media, the words that we have been hearing, the words that are contrary to love, because, you know, love is patient, love is kind, love never boasts, and we have been hearing quite the contrary. I don't know about you, but when things started to shift, you know, we got the election results, and this is not political, but I just had this sense of release and relief, because I just felt like that, it, that there was a light at the end of the tunnel, and I felt like there was maybe a relaxation of some coping mechanisms that were I was clinging tightly to, to just get through, to try to even shield myself from all of the fighting that's going on in our culture. And of course, I'm speaking from the perspective of being a person who's living in the United States, but I think pretty much in the English-speaking world, whether you've witnessed it or you've been paying attention closely, it's just been in the ether and it's been in the emotional and mental atmosphere. So I'm holding space for you and with you. And I thank you so much for shining your light on our beautiful world. Stay tuned here on uh, the podcast and on the YouTube channel, because I have some really great things coming for you guys. And it is because of you that I can even share these things. Thanks for tuning in. I love you, whoever you are. Thank you.